Hi, this is Danny Joe Lewis, and this is a rare opportunity for me to get a video done, and it's a deconstruction in Ableton Live. This is a, a new song coming out, and it's called Feel Good, and it's on my label, Just Underground Recordings. And so we're going to do a deconstruction. We're going to take a look behind the scenes, going to take a look at some of the instruments and uh, discuss some of the elements. So as usual, let's start with the beats. This is a drum kit. It started off as a safe house kit, which is one of the presets in Live and uh, ended up being particularly customized, new sounds brought through, and the effects were taken off. I'll show you the programming. See here, quite um, decent use of velocities there. You can hear that on the hats. And there's this sound coming in here, which is designed as an intro. So you hear that big, percussive, kind of reverbed hit, and that is deliberately reminiscent of Spend the Night, which came out recently. And so in a way, this is designed as a follow-up to that new version. So you can see the pattern is increasing in frequency. So as we build up to the next section, there's a resonance synth pad here, which is coming from Helion Sonic. That's the Ascending Sweeps patch. And what we've got is a piano coming in here. I'm just going to solo this. Take a look at the preset. This is coming from the Cork Triton. And this is a piano patch called Romance Piano that has a certain texture to it. It has a very sharp attack and is very bright and metallic. And you can see that's coming through now as the filter cutoff frequency opens up. The filter is, let me just get back onto that. There you go. Can you hear that, that brightness? Just been taken away by the filter cutoff, and this is the Sound Toys Filter Freak. It's got a lovely kind of analog vibe to it. And one of the things that someone pointed out to me recently is this, that they, they feel the piano reminds them of something. And actually, I listened back to it, and they're right, you know. Um, it certainly wasn't deliberate. I think I've got the DNA of a lot of 90s stuff kind of like embedded within me now. Um, but let's just come back here. So the track in question um, was the CJ McIntosh remix of Black Men United, You All Know. And uh, I listened back to it, and my gosh, there are some similarities, um, but it's not identical. Um, whilst we're here, there is an organ coming in, and that's another tr Triton patch. Here we go, Jazz Rotary. And this has got um, kind of like a fall on the organ here. Just to create a sense of like a performance. Various wind chime effects to transition. And then we've got a vocal. Let's go and take a look. Now this vocal here originated as one of the Logic vocal jam packs. I pitched it down and it became kind of like its own little performance there. So. This is the main hook throughout the track. And actually the first breakdown is not particularly long. So we're back into it. Baseline, reactor. This is the TRK01. You've seen me use that quite a few times now. High string, just to add some sustained drama. Cool game one. High string. A couple of effects here. Noise sweep. And there's a counterpoint to um, the bass, which is this organ bass. Those two work really nicely together. Resonant pad here coming to introduce this small breakdown section that's coming up. And what I wanted to do is to create that kind of mystery box, main room sound from about the early 90s. This kind of thing with the strings really reminds me of that. Um, reminiscent of the Roger Sanchez remix of uh, Incognito, giving it up. That's kind of uh, another subconscious thing. I'm noticing these things now. So we're in kind of like a middle eight where the main vocal thing has been reduced. And then there's a call and response section here between brass synth, which is funny enough named piano, but I copied it and cut it up um, from the piano. So here's the brass 
patch and the vocal alternating. The brass synth is called Triton and it's a preset called Synth Brass 2. And you know this does have 90 swipes but remember you know the Korg Triton is very synonymous with that kind of a vibe. So the main breakdown here. Stripping everything back, piano filtered again, minimal drum elements coming in, so clap. And what happens here with the um, build up is it's almost like it's kind of like two points. So it's rising up now, the vocal hook comes back, but then you can see with the filter here, this, this kind of dips down, so the energy changes and the pad is rising, you know, that string patch. And actually, let me bring that to the foreground. There we go, so it's Arco strings from the Triton. So what I did there was take a little section of the vocal, cut it, and then duplicate it, and then put the filter over. So in a way, the vocal becomes like a snare roll. And then we're back in again. And what's happening is, is you know, it's just what we've heard before. It's uh, just a little refresh of the chorus. -y. Is there a chorus? It's a hawk, isn't it? And then you can see here that we're just really preparing for the DJ, taking some elements and then stripping everything back in chunks of eight bars. Okay, um, you have seen that I've used the Brainworks BX console SSL 4000G on almost every channel here that's on the master. And this, by the way, is the pre-master. And this went to Stuart Kettridge at Southeast Studios, um, who's done a fantastic job with the master, which is going to be the version that's going to be in the shops. But as you can see, all of these elements gradually reducing, just stripping back to the bass the organ and the beats, which is perfect for DJs to start mixing new things in. So that's it. This is the last release in the spring season. I had to delay it because of the release of Spend the Night on Upcycle Recordings, which actually has a whole lot of new mixes, um, you know, some really great new interpretations. So that's in stores now. But my mix has been out for a good few weeks now. So it's about time for the next release on the label. And uh, I'm very excited actually about the, uh, the first summer release. So you will be finding out about that. That'll be coming up. And all that's left is to say, uh, stay safe. And if you guys have any comments, I'll see if I can get back to you below.